Hey everybody. So in this video, we introduce the mini CPM Lama 3 V2.5, which is an ultimate multimodal model. So in this video, we are going to explore the following. So we are going to look at how the overview of the mini CPM Lama 3 V2.5. We are going to check the system requirement to run this model and we are going to use collab to run this demo so we are also going to do test it so we are going to test with some images and see how this model works all right so the mini cpm lama 3 v 2.5 is the latest model in the mini cpm v series so it's built on the zip for 400 million and Lama 3, 8 billion instruct, which has a total of 8 billion parameters. So these are some of the features that makes it stand out in terms of it has a leading performance. So it's caused an impressive 65.1 on the open compass. So our performing models like GPT 4V1106 and Cloud 3. All right, so it has some great capabilities with the OCR performance. All right, so it has also has a strong OCR capabilities. That means that it processes images up to 1.8 million pixels and excels in text extraction. So it achieves a top score on the OCR bench, as you can see right here. And so it surpasses the proprietary models such as GPT 4.0 and GPT 4V0409 and Gemini Pro. All right, so it also has hallucination rate of 10.3% on the object hell bench also has a multilingual support so it extends beyond chinese english so it supports about 30 and more languages including german french spanish and more so it has a minimal instruction tuning so it also have some efficiency in deployment so it utilizes quantization and optimization techniques for high efficiency deployment on edge devices, achieving a significant acceleration in image encoding and, lang and language decoding. All right, so we are going to use the quantized version of the mini CPM Lama 3 version 2.5. All right, so you can find more details here as to this model. All right, so let's get here and we are going to use the quantized version to for this demonstration. All right, so when you click here, so this is the, the quantized version that we are going to implement here. All right, so we are going to use the collab to do this. And uh, so let's get into collab. So I'm going to attach the link in my description in order to get the code, All right? So in my collab, so I'm going to go to runtime and I'm going to do so. You, the requirements is you should make sure you have Python 3.10 and above. And so I'm going to choose the GPU of T4 GPU. So I'm going to say save. And now I'm going to install the packages. I'm going to install these packages pillow. I'm going to install this version, touch. Third vision, transformer, sentence piece, accelerate. So I'm gonna say, gonna run it. So it is going to take some time to install. If you've not done it for the first time, it should take some time. All right, so the next step is we are importing the libraries. So we import touch, we import image, and so we import the auto model 
and uh, auto tokenizers and we will do some plot so we import the math map lip math plot lib and we are going to run this all right so the next thing is we are loading the pre-trained model and the tokenizer so we create a variable and we pass our model so we are using the quantized version so it's run so for those of you who have low gpu memory right so it's going to utilize about nine gigabytes so we are going to run it there and so we use the trust remote code which is equal to true which allows the code from the model repository so i'm going to say true and i am going to so we create a tokenizer and we pass the model from pre-trained so we are going to run this and we are loading the model all right so we have the model loaded up so you could use the uh, hanging face hub so you could use the your token to create an access but it's optional so i ignore that and it runs fine and the next thing is to set the model to evaluation mode this is not really uh, relevant but you could check this out so i'm going to say model.eval so it breaks down some of the information here about the model right so you could read more information here okay so the next thing is we open an image file and we convert it to an rgb format so i'm going to so we are going to test these images okay so i'm going to upload these images here so i'm going to go to upload okay so i'm going to upload these images these images okay all right so i'm going to create an image a variable called image and i'm going to open the image all right so the image is here so i am going to so we are here you can just copy the first one is in french so you can just copy the path and you can just paste it here it's going to give you the path to the image All right so say this and i want to display the image okay so i'm using the plot dot i am show image and i'm going to so when I run this, all right, so I need a comma here. So when I run this, all right, so the image is displayed here. And I would need, so we define a question to ask about the image and so i'm going to create a user and a content so i just want to pass the const question here so i'm going to say so you can see this is this is an image it's actually in french so i am going to ask i'm going to ask so i'm going to ask what is in the image and describe the sentence in the image all right so i want to get what is in the image and i want you to describe the sentence in the image i'm going to run it so I'm going to say so we use the model to generate the response so we are passing the image we are passing the message 
list and we are passing it tokenizer and the sampling parameters to the model chart method all right right this here so we are also passing a temperature to be 0 0.1 so you can change this if you want to all right so if you make it 0. Point, um, let's say 0 0.7 it means that anytime you run it there is going to be a, a different output okay so i'm just doing 0 0.1 okay and so we are going to print the response so i'm going to say run so let's see how this is going to come out all right so it says the image is a colorful illustration that appears to be part of an educational or language learning activities specifically designed to teach french vocabulary written to vacations the sentence in the image is a description of a scene where someone is on vacation so it reads so it actually can read the french language right here and it reads the french language and it so this, the viewer should identify one or two things from the image that are related to vacation theme. All right, so even with the quantized version, it's able to give out a good response, which is awesome. So let's get to the next question and see how this works out. So I'm going to comment this one out. I'm going to comment this one. And so let's look at the next image and I'm going to say run. Great. So now I'm going to ask that what is what is in the image? So let's see. All right. So let me run this. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's look at the translation. So the image depicts a modern kitchen setting where two individuals are engaged in an activity. The person on the left is wearing a white outfit. Oh, this is awesome. So the person on the left is wearing a red outfit to be interacting with the other person who is seated at a table with a laptop. So the presence of food items suggests that they are, might be having a meal. Oh, great. The world atmosphere seems to be one of the casual interactions. This is exactly correct. Right, so let's get to the third one. So I'm gonna comment this one gonna comment this one out and let me run this great so if I run this let's ask the model what it sees here with the all right so the image features a dog standing in the water so the dog appears to be a bridge similar to a german shepherd characterized by eye by its stand and black coat it is looking directly at the camera with a focused expression the background is uh, minimalistic consisting of a water surface and a faint horizon line wow i love this response this is great even with the smallest model All right guys so let's do can we do one more? All right, so let's try the last one. Try the last one and see. Okay, maybe it's not giving out what we needed here. I didn't upload that image, so let me maybe try this last one and see. Okay, so let's see this one. Try this one. Awesome. So the image depicts a cyclist in a motion on a road, which is perfect. It's wearing a black and a yellow jersey with a word, so you can actually detect the word in the jersey. 
that is it correct i'm not so sure let's so let's see okay it's able to depict the word and printed on it along with a marching short a red helmet wow it can actually depict the color of the helmet which is great and with a black visa is worn for safety sunglasses so it has sunglasses which actually can depict that and suggesting a sunny day and a road appears to be a two lane it can de detect it's a two lane with a solid yellow line down the it can detect the yellow line which is awesome okay this is great All right love this all right, guys, um, you can see the capability of this model. Even with a smaller size, it can really perform great. And yeah, so do play around with this model and let me know what you think in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.